Now that we've defined continuity, we can talk about the different ways that a function can lack continuity, the different kinds of discontinuity. So type 1 is when we have a single whole, and of course that could either be just a whole missing, the function is not defined there, or it could have a point somewhere else. And this is what is called, technically, a removable discontinuity. Removable because we can just stick in a single point and fill the discontinuity, or another way to say it is we could easily construct a continuous companion function which would not have that discontinuity. So that is type 1. Type 2, which we've talked about already, is a jump discontinuity. And of course the function might not be defined at all at that point. It might be equal to one of the values on either side. You can even have a case where you have a jump and then the actual value of the function is somewhere not at either one of the endpoints of the segment. So all of those are a jump discontinuity. And of course the limit overall does not exist at such a, such a place, but the one-sided limits still exist. So we can take the one-sided limit on each side and that would exist. The final is when we have an infinite discontinuity, that is to say we have a vertical asymptote. And so you might have a vertical asymptote on both sides. And you can even have exotic combinations where you have, say, a vertical asymptote. And then the function actually is defined at the location of the asymptote. So for example, in this last one, the limit from the left side would be infinity. But the limit from the right side would be well-defined. And in fact, the function would even be defined at x of c. So these are examples of some discontinuities.